Morning everybody. Morning. I'm a, I'm a Bobby Dazzler this morning. Oh you are. You haven't seen this jumper before have you? <coughs> because Tracy bought it for me for Alethea. my birthday. Alethea. Yeah. Bought it for me for my birthday. Um, very nice isn't it? Lovely. I'm just going to hang this bit of washing out before... That's... I've got it. We've been feeding Ernie, the, the tortoise, and now she's hanging Wesley now. Well, we've got to be off. Because we've got to be off. My uh, half past ten appointment's been postponed until eleven. Um, so I just thought I'd come on and let you know what's what's going on. Uh, I saw we had a we all sat at kitchen last night chatting. Um, all of us, David and Alethea and Tracy and Pat. Tracy's got a procedure coming up on Saturday um, towards towards an eventual operation. Um, David's organising his double hernia he's still working I don't know how he's doing it uh, with a double hernia I think I think you can get a belt to wear um, if you're you know like in a situation like David where he's bending down and lifting and stuff I think you can get a specific proper belt um, anyway, we're all sick, lame and lazy here. So I'll speak to you again later. My phone's coming today between two and three. I've had a text from them. Um, well, that's, that's another thing that's happening today. And we've got to go and do a shot, me and Pat. So, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Here we are at the doctor's. Pat's in there. And it's started to rain. Hmm. When Pat's been in, we're going to go and do a shop, I reckon. Um, and then come back for me, my blood test. And then the doctor's appointment. See you later. Here we are at Lidl. Nice pack. Hi everybody. Well, Hi. <laughs> we've been up to docks and Pat has seen the uh, diabetic nurse. Everything seems to be all right, don't it, Pat? Yeah, yeah, she said. Everything seemed fine, but I mean, they haven't looked at the blood yet, so... Who knows? Yeah. Um, I've had my blood test, and I've seen the doctor. And one of my subscribers was on the ball because she thinks it's gallstones, was the doctor. So I've got to have um, ultrasound scan and um, what other scan was it, Pat? Ultrasound and... Um... Not an MRI? No. There's another one. The other one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Scan. Um, when the 
I've given them this sample and they've got, uh, um, she's put me on a tablet to deal with acid reflux. Uh, in the meantime, but she says three weeks. Look, I'm amazed. I'll be honest with you. I'm absolutely amazed at the surgery. I just can't understand why I've been receiving um, first class treatment here. The way that responded to me and yet Tracy can't get can't get anything out of them. <laughs> she has to go private to get out done. I don't understand. No. Um but yeah that's um so that's the situation. Yeah. Um <clears throat> And I've got a letter here, if I could persuade a certain party to sit down for five <laughs> minutes. Yes, you can persuade a certain party to sit down. I'm just going to grab a couple of strawberries. Are well, they for you or Ernie? They're for me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no. why would I be really? disappointed? <laughs> well, let's hope the taste better than the last one we yeah. got from Aldi. Wow. Yeah, yeah, they didn't taste of anything, did they? No. And then we got from that farm shop, we're absolutely... Absolutely gorgeous. I've never tasted strawberries like that. I know. Well, look good anyway. They do, yeah. Anyway, we've got a letter for you. And this one was written by Pat. Oh, on, another one. On the... Oh, do you want me to come in a bit? I can't, yeah. Nobody can see you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. I'm here. <laughs> uh, written on the 27th of January, 1967. Um... I went home this afternoon to see if you had sent any letters, but when I got home there was not one letter for me. So I hope to get one tomorrow. Mm. You know, I've written this here. Oh, well, surprise, surprise, I put in brackets. Mm. You know, I told you Carol was going to write to a boy in the Navy. Well, she wrote to him yesterday. They are writing to one another once a week. It's a good job I don't go out every night. As my teen scope says. <laughs> teen scope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. This is what a teen scope says. A surprise date. But hold it, mate. Two timings a chancy business. Oh. Amazing what a bit of praise will do. Proves that it's all been worthwhile though. Green, it's a uh, quite mucking me around colour. <laughs> you will need it. How oh, strange, I wonder where that came from. From your mag. Oh, no. That can smell them strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> them love magazines, mm. love stories you read. What do you think? Do you believe in the teen scope? And I put in brackets, you must be joking, Pat. <laughs> I bet it was from Jackie or something like that that I used to read in them days. Tomorrow night, our Pam and her friend Anne is coming to stay the weekend. Saturday morning, I am going to the Mecca with them. Oh. Yeah, that's where we met. They used to have a Saturday morning, a Saturday 
teens well, thing, didn't they? That, well, that in the Marine Centre, mm. yeah. Mm. Then in the afternoon, they are going to my dad's work party. Wow. And then at night, I am taking them to the picks. Oh. So I'm going to have a nice weekend, aren't I? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've written in brackets, Pam would have been 13 years old at that point because I think she was 14 when she was a bridesmaid at our wedding. No, she was 12. Was she? Mm. Correct me then. That, so she was 12 then, mm. not 13. Yeah, she was only 12. She lived with Pat's auntie in Leeds. Don't ask me why. Pat's dad worked at Taylor Rustler's fittings Near the Ringway Garage on the Ring Road. Yeah. I am now watching a film called The Star and the Story. That is about just after the war. I miss you very much and wish you were here. Lots and lots of love from Pat. Very nice. <laughs> These letters. <laughs> Who's that from? You. Me again? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to make of it. I don't. I don't. Oh, it seems to have done a lot this morning. We have done a lot. I mean... You've done all the shopping. Yeah, we've well, done shopping. Put it away, I've packed, put taking the camper back to the storage mm -hmm. yard. We put all the shopping away. We've just had, I've just had a chicken leg, and half have had a avocado. Same as me. Yeah. <laughs> She's told me to keep off her fried food. As yeah. the dot. Yeah. She has. Some of it's that that's doing aggravating your fried stuff. You don't know, do you? No. Who knows? Let's hope they're wrong, because I don't want to have my gallbladder removed. <laughs> Doesn't sound very nice. No, no, that's what she said, didn't it? If, if, it, were you go, if it were gallstones or something. I'd have thought there'd have been a, a zapper or something. Mm. With these... Zzz, mm. You know, like Spock does. Yeah. Not just... <laughs> On Star Trek. No, he don't do that. He just puts it's, that little thing on and it spins, it thing spins Dr. around McCoy. and it goes, Dr. McCoy. Dr. McCoy. Spock's the... He used to put that little thing on and it yeah. spun round and went, <laughs> and it healed you. <laughs> and whatever you had. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. And we got there yet? No. I think we're getting there with some things. Oh, I think they've they've made haven't they made a little boy one of these plastic arts wow. artificial art things. He's got that. Wow. So that and other yeah. things. That surgery has yeah. been. Yeah, been, been really good, haven't they? It's all been done up. Mm. It, it, they've built an extension on it. It was o only opened a month ago. ago. Uh, officially, but they have been using it, but um, it was immaculate, mm. all right. Yeah, lots of rooms. The nurses were happy. They, yeah, they said it was lovely, lovely place to work, you know. Yeah. And doctor was very proud of their uh, um, record. Mm. Yeah, she went out. The, oh, well, everybody went out. Everybody nice, We've dealt with today. Even my diabetic nurse, well, that was so pleasant. Yeah. And she did a real thorough examination, examination of weight, feet, you know, blood pressure, take my blood, yeah, measure my waist. We won't want to go back to, <laughs> to West Lodge, will we? <laughs> we will want to stay up at Glen Lee, won't yeah, we? Yeah, well, I, I got a text asking me if I wanted to move, didn't I? Yeah, that was to Carvely though. Oh, that's Carvely. Oh, yeah. no, I don't want to go to Carvely. No. 
Well, I mean, it's fairly decent surgery, isn't it, up there? Well, yeah, it's just that, mind you, you don't know what ours will be like when they're finished it. No, no, they're doing ours up in Farsley. Mm. No. But we, we noticed that the roads seemed... Quieter. Quieter today. Not as many cars on the road. Mm. Ah, here, there's loads of space. You can't usually get parked, can you? No. Really? That's unusual. Yeah. Yeah. Only a couple of cars down there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And our, our David says he's been broken into four times now, into his van. They're still breaking into his Even van. Even though there's no There's in no it. tin it. He's not using it. No. He says he's going to sell it. Once he's still... having your door put on. You know, that's, there's three of us going to have to have... David's going to have to have an op for his double hernia. Tracy's got to... Tracy's got a procedure on Saturday. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not an op. No. It's a preparatory procedure. Yeah, just to see what the fuck's going yeah, on. Yeah, um, she's got to have injections Once one a month, month for the next six months to shrink this fibroid. Fibroid. Mm. Um, and then there's me. Yeah. So there's three of us. <laughs> and you, you've got right into your 70s before you started having any... Problems. Problems with anything. Anything. You've never had an operation up to then, have you? No. Oh, they thought earlier up. So. Yeah. So it all, <laughs> all caves in around in your seventies, apparently. All starts... Unless you're a woman, and then it starts caving in before. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna. So get off get out, out there. Get off out there before it all happens. Are you listening, Edith? Get out there. And uh, there's Have fish and chips. Can't remember. Is it Dennis? Derek? De Derek? No, Steve. Steve, yeah. They're 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 selling up in November, and uh, living full time in a van. Oh. So. Yeah, get off out there, Steve. Mmm. Mmm. Because it all goes bloody pear-shaped. <laughs> mm. Oh, we hope everybody's enjoying themselves. And the phone is coming. Have a good laugh. <laughs> the phone is coming between two and three. So... That's why we're here. If you're in <laughs> earshot, you might hear some screams this afternoon. <laughs> Uh, It'll either work or it won't. Uh, oh. Tracy oh. said to oh. him, why didn't you get the... Uh, iPad, uh, iPhone. I, iPhone. Because I use a Chromebook laptop and it won't be compatible. Mm. It's got to be uh, Android um, to, to link to me. Jazzy, isn't it? Eh? Jazzy, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him in such brighter colour. I usually do wear, you know, I mean, yeah. they're trendy. <laughs> it's just that uh, I'm running out of clothes and I, 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 I've, I've made my mind up that I'm not going to buy any more. <laughs> They've got to last me until I do. <laughs> oh dear, so, so that's why you keep seeing the same old stuff coming out. Unless it gets threadbare, like my slippers. Oh yeah, they're going. I've I'm got to have to get you some new ones, are Yeah, I know. I've got holes in the bottom. Yeah, we have. You won't keep your feet warm if they've got holes oh, in. Oh no, I'll have to get some more. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I'll let you get your strawberries. Let me eat my strawberries. Yeah, we'll save. Bye until tomorrow. Bye. Bye.